So I want to start this episode by asking you a question. How is your relationship with yourself? How would you describe the relationship you have with yourself? You see like how we have relationship with our boyfriends, our mothers, our family members, our friends, our neighbors, that relationship everyone has a relationship with themselves so the question is what kind of a relationship do you have with yourself there are two kind of a, two kinds of relationships we have a healthy and an unhealthy relationship yeah a toxic and a good relationship with yourself so let me give an example with two scenarios the first one how uh, is your relationship with yourself like this you're very stupid you have the worst stomach like how could you not see it? what is wrong with you? Kind of go. That's the first relationship. The second relationship is like, you know what, Mudoni? Today did not go as planned, but tomorrow is another day to be better. Hmm? You have a big stomach, yes, but you can do something about it. You can start dieting about it, and you can start taking care of yourself. Either way, uh, uh, you don't even have to look at your stomach. Look at your face, look at your smile. You have a very beautiful smile focus on that which of those two conversations do you have within yourself which conversation i'm not talking about the thought i'm talking about the conversation what you're telling yourself the story you're telling yourself and how you're treating yourself my name is Bodoni Mukiri Joroge. I am a personal development and mindset coach. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We are all about emotional and mental wellness. relationship you have with yourself sets the tone for every other relationship you have that's why we say people treat you according to how they feel about themselves have you ever seen those people who are always insulting people they are banging the door they are hanging up they are keeping quiet when you when you say hello to them you know they are ghosting you for no reason they are just so mean and they're just full of all those bad things well that's exactly the relationship they have in themselves. Those people who are always body, sh body shaming you and criticizing you at work and telling you you're good for nothing, you will never go anywhere. It's the same things they tell themselves. So if you don't want your world to be upside down and to have a toxic world where you, you are just, it's just full of toxic relationships, you have to develop a healthy relationship with yourself first. And that will set the tone for every other relationship. The relationship you have, you have with yourself determines what your friendships look like, what your love relationships look like, what your relationship with your mother, with your everyone looks like. It determines that. And you can sit and say, why? I don't need a relationship with myself. You already have a relationship with yourself. The question is, which kind of a relationship do you have with yourself? So how do you, do you develop a healthy, good relationship with yourself? Number one. Is remembering something that I keep talking about here. You are the most important person in your life and focus on meeting your needs first. Yeah? What do we want? What do we think about when we think about a good relationship? We think about a good relationship that is uh, people are kind to one another, people are loving, people correct one another in love, people are compassionate, people are there for you, people are supportive. That is the relationship we think about when we talk about a good, healthy relationship. It's the same with your personal relationship. And when I say you're the most important person in your life, you meet your needs first, this is what I mean. We are out here attending events for everybody, giving money to people, giving our time to everybody else. And, in, and, and what are we doing? We're neglecting our needs. We're neglecting ourselves. So when you neglect yourself, you feel uh, resent towards those people you're giving all your time and all your money to. You feel bad about yourself. You feel angry with yourself. The idea is to develop that relationship with yourself where you know you, you, it's your job to meet your needs first. You know how we're depending on other people to tell us we're beautiful, to tell us we, uh, we are all that, or to give us compliments, or to tell us they're proud of, our, of us? You have to start meeting those needs for yourself first before waiting on other people to come and give that to you. So remember to nurture the fact that you're the most important person in your life. 
you think about you, you nurture yourself and everybody else comes second. You already know what a good relationship looks like from yourself. Like you talk to yourself in a kind way, you're compassionate with yourself, you don't body shame yourself, you criticize yourself with love and in a good way. Is the same thing you will also do when dealing with your children, dealing with your friends and everybody around you. Another thing is to spend time alone. Spend that time alone. And I want to challenge you this weekend or in the next one month or two weeks. Take a walk. Go to Karura Forest. If you live somewhere where there are trees and where they, you can do a nature walk, do a nature walk. Spend time with yourself. So you know what you like. You know what you don't like. You know what you want your life to be about. You know, So you can even ask yourself those questions. A lot of times the reason we don't know ourselves is because we are caught up in the noise. We are caught up in social media. We are not, what is this one doing? You're zooming people's photos all over. Uh, you're going due to what event? You're always, you're, you have always people in your house. If they're not there, you are full of loud music and all those things. You never get time to know who you are, to develop that relationship with yourself, to tell yourself, Modoni, I will make you proud. Modoni, we are going places. Create time for yourself and ask yourself, where am I heading in life? What are my goals? Who, what kind of a partner do I want to be in this relationship? What do I want with myself? What do I want to feel a lot of times? If you want to feel good things, if you want to feel happy, if you want to be peaceful and calm, also ask yourself, what will that require of me? What do I need to do more to achieve that happiness? Spend time alone. It works. And actually, especially for someone who's trying to find their purpose, spend time alone so you can know what you're good at. So you can ask yourself, oh, but I, I like volunteering in church. Or I like doing this. I like mental uh, health stuff. I like this is what makes me feel alive. Spend time with yourself. Ask yourself those questions. Yeah. Another thing is to stand up for yourself, stand up for yourself, and I would say it in these terms, stand in your truth. What is it you like? And for example, if you're going somewhere and uh, you you go to an event and then you we get there, it's so uncomfortable, your toxic ex is there, or they're taking drugs and you feel uncomfortable and you feel like you, 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 know, you can't stand that environment, leave and go home. Stand up for yourself. You, if you know what you like, what you don't like, what triggers you, what you don't want anymore in your life, it's your job to stand up for yourself. Give yourself what you want, what you love, what makes you feel good, and what will make you achieve your goals. Stand up for yourself. Don't be just swayed by the crowd and carried around by the crowd. What is it you like to do? What is it that hurts you? Yeah? It's your job to stand up for yourself and it's your job to look out for yourself. Learn to say no. And there's a video I did about different ways of saying no without feeling guilty. Learn to say no. Learn to stand up for yourself. Learn to stand with your truth and to stand in your truth. Sometimes when we say learn to stand up, we just think about an arrogant, someone who's arrogant just standing there, you know. But no. This is what I preach. I preach a lot of kindness and a lot of love. And I stand up for myself, even in the name of love. And you can also do the same thing. Learn to stand up for yourself, even in a loving, kind way. Stand up for yourself. Until it gets to a point where you have to tell them, excuse me, stop right there. Yeah? Another thing is self-care. Oh God, you, you guys underrate self-care. You've no idea how much it helps in terms of working on yourself and developing that good relationship. When we're in a relationship with someone, even if it's our friend, our mother, our boyfriend, our husband, we want to take care of them. We want to be taken care of. It's the same thing when it comes to developing and building a good personal relationship with yourself. Take care of yourself. Take water. Do your home facial. Um, work out. You know, eat a balanced diet. Put your favorite movie on the TV. Uh, listen to the music that uplifts you, that makes you feel good. Take care of yourself. Buy yourself a gift on your birthday. On Valentine's, take yourself for dinner. Take care of you. Create a good, nice, loving relationship with yourself. From a young age, we are taught about... We are taught so much about pleasing other people. Don't make auntie angry. Don't look at auntie like that. You cannot say no to that one. So we grow up subconsciously with those beliefs. Let me tell you, it gets to you. You realize you're living your life for other people. You're just there making other people happy at your own expense. Giving away your happiness to say yes to people who don't really care. 
yeah self care take care of yourself treat yourself like someone you care about treat yourself like someone you love spend time alone think about the negative self talk also you know sometimes we have that automatic talk that is in our head but when i talk about a relationship i'm talking about things you can do and how the, how we want our relationships to be for example the end goal for your romantic relationship it's loving it's kindness start do, doing that with yourself set the tone for those relationships by the relationship you have with yourself so thank you so much guys continue working on yourself it's a never-ending journey i do all these things i am a practicing coach and if you need help by the way if you need help if you're so unhappy you feel bad about yourself you want to develop that personal relationship with yourself hit me up seek help you guys and these things are not things you will do and then relax no i did everything i worked on myself so i'm done there are things you have to keep doing me uh it's like maintenance you know looking out for yourself filling your cup every now and then you know are uh, checking in with yourself so Mudoni, how are you doing where was i last month where was i two months ago what progress have i made what progress do i want to make what is my goal in six months what am i doing to accomplish that goal don't neglect yourself don't don't neglect yourself and don't neglect your goals love yourself be there for yourself take care of you it's your job and you feel so good and the best thing about developing a relationship with yourself is that you have a fallback plan you have someone to fall back to you know you when you develop that core that strength in your in yourself and in your relationship with yourself when things fall apart when people disappoint you you have a place to fall back to yourself you're able to comfort yourself you're able to tell yourself Madoni, they might have hurt you but they will never ruin your life you know they might have tried to hurt you they might have tried to destroy your life but you know what your life is way greater like you can be anything you want to be Madoni. you can achieve anything you want to be you know anyway guys i want to end there I want to end this video here. Continue working on yourself. I wish you all the best. It's going to take a lot of um, patience. It's going to need a lot of patience, a lot of perseverance, a lot of resilience, and a lot of reminding yourself why you're doing those things. Because you are amazing. And because you're very important. Never forget that. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.